So today we're going to be testing uh, AI generations in Kittle using ChatGPT, uh, and that's what we're doing. Okay, you ready? Nope. I'm going to generate some prompts here. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for the first one? Yeah. Okay. Create. Do I need to use the word create? Yes. Create an abstract interpretation of a thunderstorm. Is it? That's it. Okay, no presets? Oh, you can do what you want. You didn't ask it to, to give a style? Some of them have styles, but I mean, it would be hard for it to know what our style presets are. Abstract interpretation of a, of a preset. I mean, a, of a thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll just not give it any. Just go for it. Any preset. Hmm. Are you excited? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's not at all what I thought it was gonna do. What did, I don't, I didn't have any expectation of what I thought it was gonna do. But that's actually pretty gas. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. It it kind of just yeah. I mean, it it looks like a thunderstorm, like in clouds that are just really distraught. Like a wave, C C type deal. What if we just select photography? Okay. Boop. Goodbye. Ooh. That's actually pretty fire. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, like the canyon. Like the valley there. Yeah. Yeah, you got like a little village or, well, I guess just like a little house. And then you got the valley with, ooh, man, that's... Yeah, I like that. That is super cool. Pretty sick. And if we want to upscale that thing to be even nicer, we can. We just get in here. Something you can do. We look at this. Ooh. Ooh, it's a lot smoother now. Look at that. Yep. Real smooth. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Okay, the second one. A... Surrealist. Ooh. Landscape. Merging. Ooh. Ew. <laughs> Elements of nature. All right. And technology. Oh, what? Uh, okay, I'll do first with no. And then we do the anime one. Anime? Yeah. I was thinking it's like uh, the um, synth wave, but yeah. No. Why? Regular and then anime. Because the next one Merging is very elements psychedelic. Elements of nature and technology. And this makes me nervous. It okay. It's very I don't surrealist. Know if that's exactly what we were going for. But it is. It is surrealism because surrealism is like is like dreams, like dreamlike, ethereal, like coming in and out of yeah whatever. It, it's not at all what I imagined. Like this is way too much technology. Earth on the yeah. left, right, and like the river kind of just goes into nothing. It looks like an indoor floor. <laughs> It does, uh, yeah. It looks pretty fire, but... Um, okay. Let's do another one. Anime. Get rid of that one. It'd probably be better, I think. Except we still have, like, a satellite dish back here. I don't know what that's about. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me what's <laughs> gonna do. Oh! Okay, I don't see any I technology. I see no technology. But this is pretty gas. It is fire. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We do need a... I just, I do want to see though. I do want to see what Art Deco will do. I think it'll be cool. This is, look at this staircase. Whatever. Boop, 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 boop. This is definitely an accident, but it is very cool. What? Like it didn't mean, to, oh, yeah. or well, it didn't take the technology bit, but it definitely took the surrealist landscape portion. Portion. <laughs> <laughs> portion. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ooh, okay. So you've got your like twigs and your leaves and your stuff, but also we'll you have your buildings. your buildings. Ooh. Almost like circuitry. Dude, and then you can have like a bunch of different ones of these because you can like change your hue to different stuff. Oof. Come on now. Yeah, that's cool. Come on now. That's, yeah, that's pretty cool, fire. dude. All right. Wait, were we supposed to rate these? I I didn't say anything about rating okay. them. Okay. That was a that was a mouse pad. You let us know in the comments if it's pass or fail. Design. A. Oh. <laughs> Futuristic city scape inspired by ancient Mayan architecture. Lost a couple points on my spelling here. See, now you know how it feels. I believe this is yeah. like that. And then what should I do it as? Well, we could do the first one as nothing, but what should the second preset be? Our deco would be cool for that, I think. Ancient Mayan city, no? Maybe. Or, hey, I'll look. Cityscape inspired by age. Old and the new. That seems to be the theme of this. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty that's, close. That's pretty wild. You know what this looks like? Blade yeah. Runner. Yeah. No. Well, minus the tree. Well, all this definitely looks like Blade Runner for sure. It's just they don't. They the ships the in the top left look like the ones from Dune. Oh, they do. Left. Oh. That's the right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. It's pretty, hmm, pretty intense. 
I just want to see what Art Deco would do because I think that's really, really cool. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Uh, holographic stuff. Holo oh, holographics. Okay. Yeah. Man, that's pretty wild. What would you use this for, you think? Thumbnail. Look into the future. It's just a video <laughs> 2080 about... 2080 question yeah, mark. it's just about in... <laughs> look in look 2080 into the, question mark. Yeah, look into the future. Ooh, now that's cool. It's got like the grit shading. Yeah. It's nice. Same thing. Change your hue. Yeah. Come on now. Oh, that's cool. All right. Pass or fail, let us know in the comments. You'll like this one. Oh. A portrait of a mythical creature from Norse... Mythology. Like a Kelpie? Maybe. <gasps> okay, as usual, no preset first. And there's also no style, so it's just it's just whimsical. The AI is just deciding just go to, with to do a style do all on its own. <laughs> so close. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't want to say Fenrir because that's like the most obvious one. Is that what that is? A wolf, yeah, right? Fenrir. And you got some like runes. I mean, it's a really nice, it's a really nice picture. I would have rather had the, the wolf by itself. Um, let's try, dude, I don't know, digital art. I was going to say photography. Well, yeah. But I want to try digital art. Digital art. I think the photography one would just give us another wolf. It might give us another wolf again. Yeah, portrait of a mythical creature. Yeah, I think it just, I think it just said Norse mythical creature wolf. Boom. That's what it did. Bars. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, maybe it'll do something other than a wolf this time. Odin, that's not really a mythical creature, and or don't know if that's Odin. The colors are pretty wild. Well, it's not I'll a mythical it digital... creature, it just says, oh. It says mythical creature. Mm. I mean, it's still pretty wicked, because this is, again, another one you can change the hue to get some pretty wild, trippy, dude. He's angry. Yeah, he's going through the motions. All right, that's cool. A scenic, a scene, scene, <laughs> depicting the harmony between humans and robots <laughs> in a futuristic society. Okay, as usual, I'll do one without, but then we got to do the synthwave one for this. And I want to see the anime one. Okay. <sighs> I think it just like went hard into the like sapien robotic form. This this is like a guy and a robot together. That's pretty terrifying. It, it went it went hard on harmony, that's for sure. Yeah, true. All right, synth wave. I've been waiting for this. And culturally, like, there's a lot of different... That's pretty wild, actually. Yeah. Also, I don't know what's up with all these bugs here. Robotic bugs. Buggies. Why is that such, like, a thing that's in... Like, that's all over the Matrix. The Matrix movies have these, like, robotic bugs. Like, what is the purpose of Not that? Not seeing them. That is wild. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That is very cool. Like... Because this seems like a scene. Yeah. You know? More robotic bugs. This is definitely looks like it's something from like a movie that somebody would be like having a dream or something. That's, yeah. Yeah, more robotic bugs. What is that? Okay, anime? Yes. Shabloop. This one's definitely better. I like this one a lot. Shabloop. Ooh, interesting. Are these like gigantic robots? It's, it's going hard on the scene. Hmm. Like depiction. Yeah, yeah. That joint's levitating. That, that looks like... It looks like... And we got old Edna down here. This definitely looks like the intro to an anime. Like, you can already hear the music, and this is, like, kind of fading through the back. That's showing, like... Yeah, this whole business down here is pretty, pretty insane. I don't know where Harmony and, like, lab work and, like, White Coats came into existence, but maybe it's the futuristic society needed something to latch on to. All right. That was cool. You let us know in the comments, pass or fail. A cosmetic phenomenon such as, this one's gonna be interesting, a black hole consuming a star in a mesmerizing way. Pretty fearful of this one. No style. I mean, that just looks like something that could really exist, I guess. Well, it doesn't say something that is not real. True. Like, it is a cosmetic phenomenon. True, true. That's pretty insane. Um, is it mesmerizing? Hmm. Maybe. <coughs> Definitely, you definitely have your ring. I see, I see this stuff on YouTube where it's like, yeah, it's just that. It's just like, right, yeah. And then like an arrow pointing to this. Yeah, like yeah, I see yeah. like, it's yeah. like the science thumbnails it's all the time. That's definitely what those are like. Oh my gosh. You heard it here first, 2030. It's all over. 
Terrible. Should we even give that one a different style? Because, I mean, it, it pretty much nailed it. Psychedelic? Yeah. I don't know about this. Let's see what happens. That's actually, that's really wild. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, what the etching, is happening man. here, dude? Like the, the half tones, yeah. The half tone etching. That's wild. That's really dope, actually. Liquid, 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 liquid. Okay, there you are. A digital collage mm. representing cultural diversity and unity. There's that unity again. Nice. I mean, yeah, yeah the AI's already been doing its best to do We're going to put unity in the thumbnail. No, make a real one with magazine clippings and stuff. Staples and papers. You're just making a digital version that looks like it was pieced together. Mm. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I like that there's a globe in the middle. Is there a particular image style that we would want to try? Art Deco or... Psychedelic. <laughs> oh, wow. They're just really pushing the limits. We're really pushing the limits today. That should be the thumbnail. What? Pushing Kill AI to the limit. <laughs> Testing to the limit. I'm just gonna make the whoa. It's pretty wild. I should just make the 2030 us thing the thumbnail. Oh my gosh, this is wild. The psychedelic is is starting to grow on me. Like just in general, like the preset. Like it's it's better because it like it fakes it easier. Like it's easier to fake stuff because it's intentionally. It also takes the really like heavy philosophical and turns it into something that's not as hard to ingest, right? Like what what unity looks like. Yeah. Right? Very interesting. That's a tough one. Yeah. Reimagine a classic fairy tale with a cyberpunk twist. I already know which one we gotta do for fairy that. Fairy tale is one word. Oh. That's it? Yeah. Show me the money. Let's see if we can figure out what the classic fairy tale is here. Uh, there's a castle. There is a robot guy. There is a full robot. And there is an evil flying robot. And it looks like these are like the floating tangled lights. <laughs> and this also does kind of look like Finn a little bit. Very uh, wild. I'll say that. I'll say that. We're definitely going to do this in Synthwave, of course, because you have Cyberpunk. Yeah. If I had to guess, I would say Tangled is probably the, the classic fairy, which is not even a classic fairy tale, I don't think. That's not a, that's not, a classic would be like Snow White or Beauty and the Beast. It's probably Frozen. Maybe. See that? Frozen robots fight back. Whoa. Well, this is interesting. The dragon has like a robotic blue eye, I think. And a ro- oh, wait, 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 maybe not. Huh. But there are these like floating robotic thingies. This it's is definitely, yeah. wild. I don't know about all that, but that's, that's pretty insane. It is pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna test one more time on anime, just because. Yes. I want to see what happens. Megan's issue doesn't feel very good. Oh, now that's cool. Who's that supposed to be? Like Snow White? I have no idea, but it doesn't matter. It looks dope. It looks freaking awesome. Yeah. That's. Mm. I like that a lot. All right. All right. Are you ready for the last one? Yeah. Illustrate the beauty of the underwater world, showcasing diverse marine life in a coral reef. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I think this is similar to the prompt we did in the first video. That one's pretty similar because I remember the diverse marine life one in like a, showing Atlantis or something like that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's already starting to look very similar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's that's beautiful, man. That is pretty dope. That's beautiful. I like that. What what style should we try? I wonder what Art Deco would look like in like a coral reef. I don't know. I like the water on this one. It's beautiful, though. Man, look at that. Mm, that's nice. Do the anime one, I guess. I don't know. You just like the anime The anime preset. one is always the best. I think it is really, really good. Especially that last one, the fairy tale one. I didn't think it was going to do very well. Crushed it. Yeah. Took it. You. Crushed it. Show me the art. Ooh. Yeah, this is very similar to some we had the previous one. It's very Ghibli-esque. It's very pretty. I could see this on a boatload of different... Proud demand stuff from mouse pad blankets mouse pads phone case phone case ooh definitely phone case use ooh, the image scaler nine by sixteen okay I'll use that and I'll also generate another image I'm just really trying to break kittle today it won't work though <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> whoa look at that yeah 
That's amazing. It's pretty crispy. That is super crispy. Wow. I like how the screen like flashes when it's done though. It's pretty crazy. All right, I'm doing the same thing in the 16 by nine. I mean the nine by 16. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Let's go. Talk phone case, dude. Especially somebody that loves marine life with anime or studio ghibli you could just put that right on here yeah dude look at that you could do that look at that oh and then you could have like iterations of this with your your little hue your little hue slider Oof. then maybe we go back the other way no that's bad maybe we keep going we got like right here super blue i think this is still my favorite though that's nice all right was, okay, that, the, was I, that the last one i have one more for you oh two brothers oh my gosh sitting at a desk Testing AI prompts. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look at, I mean, gosh. That Kid, did really good. Kindle AI is so smart. Like, look at that. I mean, that that looks that looks just like us. Like, how did it know what hat I was wearing? Huh. Let me let me upscale this. Yeah, upscale that. Because I think we could do a lot with this. Yeah, you could put it on a... a uh, right on the back of, like, a t-shirt. Back of a... I mean, you could print this on a gym bag, actually. I think that'd be pretty... Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Wow. It just really smoothed me out. Yeah. You have really smooth skin now. I just have really smooth skin. It made the blue a little brighter. I mean, golly, wow. Yeah, it's incredible these days. Yeah, you could adjust your hues there too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, sure. Why don't I just make us purple or perhaps green, you know? I look a little sickly. Just a little bit. Maybe I maybe I add just a little bit of saturation into into there. Maybe a little, a little less contrast. Hmm. We'll brighten it a little bit, make it a little bit vibrant, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe take the blur all the way down, just make us grainy. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Wow. So good. Wow. That's 10 out of 10. Dang. FYI, AI did not make that just for anyone that thinks that it can. That was a picture of us, but it was really funny. It did make us. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> okay. That's what AI did. No. Yeah. Well, we hope you have a ton of fun testing and playing with Kittle AI yourself and getting some amazing renders. This is always a good time for us to just kind of test it to the limits, coming up with prompts from ChatGPT, testing it in different styles, seeing what works, what doesn't work. Maybe that helps you in figuring out what you want to do. Also, don't forget we have some amazing updates. We have the image upscaler. Now we have prompt memory. Now we have the Kittle images library which by the way if you go over to images you can go over to kittle ai images and now you can search and add stuff that people have made with kittle ai to use yourself so those are three multiple artboards multiple artboards is show another him. one show yeah. okay Co so let's say we want to du copy this guy an artboard. i'll duplicate this guy I hold the alter option oh key. my gosh look at that I dragged that, okay, now maybe I don't want that guy, but maybe I want this dope skull here. Yeah. You can and change you can, the sizes. Yeah, you can change the sizes, so maybe we want this one to be a, a, a square, so we do this. There's a whole video on this. There's a whole video on this. We'll link up in the cards down below. There's so many amazing updates in Kittle, so you need to go use it. You need to subscribe to the channel. And you need to comment down below. You need to like the video. Like the video and comment down below what you think. So go have fun. Go use Kittle and we'll see you in the next video.